Also, another thing about the blackout in general. Previously, I said that um, uh, Slim Bank shot Speedy Spirit. The Speedy Spirit in the billiards room is one of the only two uh, Speedy Spirits that you have to collect before a certain time. Slim Bank shots, you can only get hit, or the one in the billiards room, you can only get it when Slim is present in the room. After that, the Speedy Spirit just disappears. In the breaker room, uh, back in area one, that I, or back in area two that I caught. Oh. Back in back in area two, we collected a space spirit for the uh, for the breaker room. That space spirit only shows up before the blackout. So if you missed it and you were hoping to catch it during the blackout, you can't. It only spawns before the blackout. Weird little caveat, I know. And if you thought we were done with Speedy Spirits, we are not. Anyway, let me check my notes real quick. I know I have notes here. Professionalism at its finest, folks. All right. We are not done with um, Biddy Spirits and Golden Mice. We still have a bit more to collect, but other than that, it's been a really good run so far. <clears throat> So yeah. Also, um, that sound means that the boo has either despawned or gone back to the area it was a, it was first in. Also, each of the shells kind of is a different part of the shelf, which is kind of funny that you can get a gold bar, money, and like stuff from it. Kind of weird. Yeah. So we are missing only. Actually, to say it. Now, we are missing one of each. Yep. You're missing one of each, which is fun to do. Oh yeah. Another key down. Where does this key go? Upstairs. Fucking heart. Uh, piece of shit. That's actually an easier bar or an easier uh, boo to catch. That's kind of sad that the only reason why it screwed up is because auto homing. It's not even open. This door is open. You piece of shit. Uh, the best part about boo hunting. The boos literally just go to the wrong area. In an area four, it is very prevalent. Let's just get rid of the uh, the bomb in here. Just so we know that it's not in here. Anyway, back to the roof. Or back to the balcony, I think. Back to the third floor because there's a new door open. Hooray. Anyway. We actually are going to go back to the um, the phone room. So uh, if you thought that phone room was just pointless in the blackout, no, there actually is a purpose in that room. So let's just go there and just mm -hmm. fuck around with phones or something like that. I don't know. Um, if I were to say anything else about that. Oh, yeah. About this thing. This thing here. You can't burn down the... Uh, the planks if you wanted to know about that those planks are burn proof apparently 
I was gonna say they're like dipped in water, but no, I think like water so planks or anything wood related is not very healthy in a mansion like this. Made of wood. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep on going. Bleach the Mansion in general is a very short game. The only bad, like, the only parts about the game that I don't like is. <laughs> uh, like, the filler, which is the phone room, or the blackout in general. The telephone room. Mario. Grab Mr. Bone. There we go. Use the same strat for catching like Mr. Bones, like in the first first part, like these spirits, and you'll be very fine. Oh yeah. Bunch of money though. Boomerang coming right back at you. So some people may say, why catch this boo first if there's a dark room behind you? Some of you guys have a smart, some of you guys are smart and have actual brain cells. I don't, I just gone for it. Anyway, set up a room is another like optional room. You don't have to complete the, uh, or beat the, uh, the room. Grab this, have the boo ball come out, leave the room. And we go into a new area. The clockwork room. That works then. Clockwork surgeons work as one, three to one. Basically, you motherfucker, please get me out of the corner. Anyway, the only time uh, you can grab the clockwork soldiers is if you pull off their little, um, I don't know, wind up. But like the twins, you only have to catch one of them, and the main one is the blue one. Seriously? Seriously? I get to have fun though. Uh, all right. Where are those again? Rex? Come on, Greenie. One round in green. Now the only one that actually matters, blue here. Here's the thing, you don't have to like get all of them in one shot. They're, they ain't that cruel. Come on. Damn. All right. Did not get a gold rank on him, but Still very bad. Also, when they spawn in, you can't cheese them by like legitimately going behind them and just starting to get rid of their thing. But anyway, there are two boos here, which suck. Where's that boo hat? Time for the six o'clock boo. That ain't his name though. Uh, his name is actually the booze cat or the booze caster, which is a pun on newscaster. Like, aim my fucking thing correctly. Right also, I might use another speedrunning trick when I get to uh, a certain area. 
There's another speedrunning trick in this game you can use. And you can actually use it if you remember Bulasis. We all know that Bulasis, uh, we all got the boost from Bulasis because we froze them. That is a, that's, it's still a thing in this game. You can actually uh, catch the booze and you can still use the ice power on them to slow down their speed so they're more easier to catch and so they don't move around as much. And it only works with ice. You cannot use fire, you cannot use water. But it's kind of cool that the Bulosis fight still teaches you something, even though it's like the Area 3 boss. Wow, do you work out, Luigi? Be careful. Also, I'll say this right now. We can stop hunting booze. This is the point of the game where you can just stop hunting booze because at this point, you, you don't need all the booze to beat the game. You only need 40 out of 50. So basically, There's Boomerang. Boomerang coming right back at you. Hey. Yeah, you only need 40 booze in the game to beat the final boss. You get a bunch from boo losses, and since that's a, a, a technically a required boss, you get a bunch of booze from him. Hmm. Oh. Um, basically, um, as I keep saying, you need 40 out of 50 boosts to beat it. Nothing more. If you get any more, it's just a bonus. And that's it. It doesn't make the final boss weaker. It doesn't make it, like, less hard. I don't think so, at least. But in general, you don't need to catch any more boos. Any more boos like this is just a formality. Two boos down. That's a way to go, Luigi. Alright, so, let's go up the lift. How do I miss one? Alright, come on. Now we're at actually the roof of the mansion, just to let you know. <laughs> in sync and dancing and in sync and death. You only need like one shot of fire to get rid of the ice, and then you can just do the rest. Hmm. Anyway. This area only has like one thing, just these ghosts. That's it. HS will spawn in one of the tops and you can go grab it. But we ain't done yet. Cause actually I'm going to make myself this. I'm gonna make myself like this little, not a little promise. But I'm gonna, gonna give myself a little caveat. Anyway, we got another key back down, back in the other side of the, uh, the mansion. Back in the other side of the third room. I'm gonna give myself a caveat within one of three things. And it pertains to the remaining bullshit. Also, a boo does not spawn in the roof. You're free to just walk around. Go up here, jump down. To get to the sealed room. Now I didn't get it. Okay. Do I still have an open? Don't have an open. Ah, uh, time to guess. Guess what's correct? Ha! There we go. Every single speedy spear collected in this area. I 
I'm gonna give myself a little caveat to get one more thing I'm missing. We are only missing one more golden mouse. I'm gonna give myself this caveat. I'm going to cut. And I'm going to give myself... 10 attempts. I'm gonna give myself 10 attempts. To go to this area. And, uh, grab that golden mouse. Because it is an RNG mouse. It only spawns in when you fall downstairs. But, every time I do that, it eats away at my time because we are still playing. And, it's basically, you, the only way to leave the room is through that mirror. Mario. Mm -hmm. Also, a little thing about Uncle Grimly while we're going back, and after that second attempt, we're going to start cutting. When I first played this room, I thought the room with the mirrors that Egad was talking about was not the wardrobe room, but that one area in area three. What was it? I think it was in uh, area three. I think it was in area three that uh basically um you just go there and there's just like mirrors or just a big ass mirror in the background just to see where like the grabby ghosts are i thought that was the first area to go to and it might be like the first area you might remember to go grab it unless you've seen an lp of this game and you already know where uncle grimly is anyway Back in the clockwork room, go back upstairs. And after the second time we fall down, I'm gonna start cutting to save time from the recording, the part itself. And for probably your own mental sanity, not mine. So, that didn't work, and I'm giving myself 10 tries, so this is try number three. Time for the cut. There we go! Time for the very abrasive jump scare. We're back, and the golden mice has appeared! So we have gotten every single worthless piece of crap in the game. I mean that in the best sense. Golden Mice and Speed Spirits don't account for anything other than, hey, look, we got more money. That was attempt number seven. So welcome back, everybody, to uh, the LP. Uh, my name is Crazy Guy. We I've done this shit for too long. Uh, please send any regards for my mental health at one, two, three, help. That's my address. Oh, yeah. Actually, he's going away. Grab him. Grab him. Yeah. So, the ghosts do spawn this area. So, like, it basically, uh... Grab all the ghosts you can. Ghosts have been completed in this area. Get up! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, key here. <laughs> There's a key here to another optional area. So, uh, yeah. it's another optional room. As you've been clearly been seeing, it is very optional. You, uh, don't get anything here other than a bunch of fucking money. A bunch of money's fun. Not at the cost of, uh, your sanity, in my opinion. But apparently I have no sanity. Uh, 
judging from how I um, do a bunch of shit in OJ. So anyway, we've gotten every single Speedy Spirit and every single Gold Mice in the game. Good. I did not expect to do that.